Now 31, I had a question off of section 5.2, number 39 and 43. Those weren't problems that were officially assigned, but I still wanted to address them because and because I had a question pop up. So it, it says, hey, determine whether the graph of the function provided is a polynomial function. And if so, determine the number of turning points and the least possible degree for that function. So if I look at 39, it is going to be a polynomial because it's smooth, right? And it's continuous. There's no sharp points in it. Um, and, and I don't have to lift my pencil to draw that. And, and to give you a counterexample, Right here at 44, there is a sharp point, right? So that's gonna be a problem. I know 44 won't be a polynomial. All right, and then taking a look further, it looks like I had a turning point here and a turning point here. So in terms of answering these questions, yes, it's a polynomial, all right? I see two turning points. And that means that we have to have at least, if there's two turning points, then the degree was at least one higher. So if I have two turning points, that'll tell me my degree of my polynomial has to be greater than or equal to three. So this is at least a cubic. It might be more, it might have a higher degree than a cubic, but it's at least a cubic that we're looking at, all right? Because we had that, that that theorem or that property, I should say, in section 5.2 that said if you had n minus 1 turning points, you had a polynomial of at least degree n. So if I had two turning points, my polynomial was at least degree 3. Now, if we take a look at 43, it's smooth, right? No sharp points. It's continuous. So again, my answer would be yes, there's a polynomial here. Now, I actually don't see any turning points here. And this is one of those funny ones. So let me write no turning points. All right, and this to me looks a lot like one of our toolkit functions of y equals x cubed. I'm not saying for sure it's y equals x cubed, but that is pretty close to that graph. And where I'm going here is if you said that there were no turning points, you would probably tell me, hey, the degree has to be greater than or equal to one. But there is no line, because degree one polynomials are lines. There are no lines that look like this. So really what we're gonna say here is that our degree has to be greater than or equal to three. All right, it's not gonna be a parabola or a quadratic, a degree two, because we don't have both ends up or both ends down. So that, that can't be it. So I would say this has to be at least degree three. And that's a combo of using that property from section 5.2 and knowing what your basic toolkit functions look like. And to remind you about your toolkit functions, we can get to their graphs on page 174. All right, so there's your look at numbers 39 and 43. Thanks so much. Bye.